What do you do if you're social distancing by yourself and forgot to bring the roll of toilet paper with you to the washroom? Why, make a Rube Goldberg machine, of course. In the original machine, the elastic energy stored in the spring of the Nerf gun shoots a dart, which transfers its kinetic energy into the cardboard target which is attached to a string stuck on a poker card, which keeps the toy VW Beetle in place. Since the Beetle is placed on top of a ramp and wants to roll down, it has some potential energy which is transferred into kinetic energy as the car rolls down the ramp. Pulling a string that is attached to its roof, which goes through a straw to guide the direction of the pulling of the string. The string is attached to a bookmark, which keeps a ball from rolling down the top of a hardcover book. This, book's, this ball's potential energy is transferred into kinetic energy as the bookmark is pulled away, which is absorbed by the second bookmark that keeps the second ball in place, knocking the bookmark away and allowing the second ball to transfer its potential energy into kinetic energy. This continues until a ball knocks down a cup, which is filled with magnets held together by magnetic fields which serve as weights, which then pulls a string which is attached by a few straws, which goes through a few straws, which pulls away a piece of cardboard. This piece of cardboard then causes a roll of toilet paper to roll off the ledge and down a ramp to the user. There were a few flaws in the original machine. Sometimes the car wouldn't roll, or would want to roll so much that the po poker card couldn't stop it from rolling down the ramp. Secondly, the balls, bookmarks, and books were extremely inconsistent, and every time either the balls couldn't knock down the bookmark since they were somehow almost stuck to the books, or the balls just wouldn't roll at all. This was extremely frustrating and wouldn't work, even with more than 80 attempts. Since it was getting relatively late, the next day we set up everything again, but changed a few things. The ramp was made to be more steep by placing a deck of cards on on top of the roll of toilet paper, which was the first support. And I also added more supports to make the slope more consistent. Next, instead of using bookmarks, I used chopsticks since they were straighter, uh, had like a smoother edge and were more rigid, which made them easier to knock down and were overall more consistent than bookmarks, which were very floppy and bent a lot. This allowed me to use more ping pong balls which had a smoother surface, which allowed them to roll better. Here, you can see the Rube Goldberg machine in action. Alas, I can finally go to the washroom peacefully.